Hey, what's up? My name is Stephanie. I'm with The Hidden Agenda, and I am literally chilling in the van <laughs> with Mikey and Eric. We can't really see him. Well, don't, from call, don't, don't call him <laughs> Mikey after. because our merch no, guy is Mikey. Mikey's oh. going to be Michael Grant. Michael Grant. Not Mikey. Okay. Michael. Scratch yeah. Mikey. Just because okay. Mikey is also well known as our as our tech and our... Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> We cleared that one up. He wears a fucking <laughs> Mario costume. He's well known. You can't miss him. <laughs> All right, so how did you guys meet? We met, uh, well, this lineup at least met four days before our Poison tour in 2006, and uh, from then on, it's been uh, it's been one hell of a ride. That's where we met. That's cool. And so, do you guys write your own music? Um, I write all the music, um, primarily, and everybody sort of adds their own flavor at the end of the day. But um, it all st it all starts with. Uh, it all starts with me, my head. That's cool. Um, so what would you have to say is your favorite song off your new record if you had to pick one? I mean, I don't know. They're all fucking excellent. You know? <laughs> that it's they me. are. They're all, they're all my babies, so trying to choose a favorite one is, is really hard. Um, Maybe one that you really like to perform live? One that I love performing live and probably will never be without in a set is, uh, is Poison. And uh, Road to Destruction has to be my my second to that just because of, I think it uh, it's a good showcasing of what the band is about from start to finish. That's cool. I love that. Your city is great. It hasn't left my uh, CD <laughs> player since I got it back in October. That was a while back. Yeah. It was. <laughs> we were, uh, we were uh, celebrating festivities in our own way at that time. Yes, indeed we were. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you think uh, you, see, you see you guys in like five years? I think in five years I see us doing the same thing but on a grander scale. Um, I see us playing in amphitheaters and stadiums and arenas in five years, and uh, just uh, I think right. I was in there with Shutter. I think right now we're uh, we're well in. Hop in, sweetheart. There you go. Um, wait, what was the question again? Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh yeah, I answered most of that. But um, <laughs> I think I think I think we'll be a little bit closer to where we want to be. Five years. I think right now we're 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 moving. Uh, we're slowly heading into the direction, into the places we're meant to be. That's cool. So, do you guys have any funny fears or phobias that you'd like to share with us? Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid of zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's uh, I know it's silly and people don't believe in them, but uh, they're fucking real, man. What would you do if, Africa, like, documented. hypothetical, we had a zombie attack? Well, first off, here's a question: Would it be the kind of zombies? that are really fast, like Dawn of the Dead zombies, Dawn of the Dead 2002 kind of zombies, or are we talking slow, Night of the Living Dead brain zombies? We're talking the more updated version. Uh, the, uh, the updated version, I have escape plans and escape routes fucking everywhere. everywhere. Like, I, <laughs> I think about it, like even when we're in our hotels and we check in the hotels, I'm like, I'm like, fuck, there's a cemetery like a mile from here. If the zombies come, I think uh, I-94 is the closest route and, you know, take I, I just have I always I always know where all the exits are and stuff like that so I think I'm gonna be all right you'll be good to go and besides I, the main thing that you need to know in these cases you need to sever the head or destroy the brain exactly that's why myself I would actually break into like a gun shot exactly <laughs> exactly you want something that's long range I I'd choose a sniper rifle there we and go I would just sit on top of a rooftop not on top of a rooftop in Detroit that fuck it's too <laughs> yeah I agree like, with you there fucking die on the roof <laughs> Freeze to death. <laughs> so zombies for me. <laughs> so I know this is a real tough one. Who would you have to say your favorite porn star would be? My favorite porn star? Um, because she's my friend, Avi Lee Roth. But uh, you know, besides Avi, um, I really like right now. The ones I'm beating it off to are uh, Taylor Rain. I like her because she's got like a really small frame. And she takes it in the ass, and I really enjoy that. Nice. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I think the next one, I'll, I'll stay with Taylor Rain for now. Okay. All right, good choice. <laughs> so, what bands are you listening to right now, or who's in your iPod? Um, there's really no new bands in my uh, in my iPod right now that I, that I'm really uh, enjoying. Uh, the closest thing is, is an album that came out last year from a band called The Kooks. And they're from the UK, and they're sort of uh, Brit pop, uh, 
meets the Clash kind of feel. I really enjoy their CD. Uh, other than that, I like John Mayer's new CD, Continuum. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, but I think a lot of the rock music right now is rubbish. It's shite. I don't really enjoy it. So I usually end up rewinding back to the 70s, and the 80s, yes. and the 60s. Those are the days. <laughs> Those are the days when music was a little bit more pure, and I think people had stuff to say, a little bit more to say, and a little bit more depth. And I think now it's all, I'm suffocating, I'm bleeding, my wrist, I need to cut it, and you broke my heart. And it's just like, shut the fuck up, you whiny bastards. <laughs>